as you have seen in the intro it is a title and logo animation so guys this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel and so today we will be learning how to create a Victoria Cross title and logo animation inside After Effects so without any further ado let's jump into After Effects First, we will go to composition and make a new composition. I will name it main one. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p, thirty frames per second. The duration is ten seconds. I will open my project panel. Open project assets. Go to image and drag down this Victoria Cross PNG. Press S on your keyboard to scale and make it twenty percent. But you can use if you want only text it's okay if you want this logo it's okay too so it's up to you guys i will pre-compose it right away and i will name it placeholder one i will move all the attributes into the new composition click ok go to edit duplicate it right away pre-compose it i will name it paper profile Again, check the move all the attributes new composition and click OK and highlight it. Go to layer, layer styles, and inner glow. Open the inner glow, make the color black, make the opacity 90%. Blending mode is normal, size is 12, and the technique is precise. Go to layer and create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and preset, go to channel, solid composite, I want this black. The purpose of this solid composite is to get rid of the transparency on our background, so that's why we use it. Go to effects and preset, go to blur and sharpen and fast box blur. Iterations is 1 and the blur radius is 1. And check repeat edge pixels. Go open the main one. Go to your project panel and drop down this street photo on my timeline. Pre-compose it right away. I will name it Reflection. Move all the attributes to the new composition. And I will go to Effects and Preset, Color Correction, Curves. I'll just darken it a bit. Then highlight it again and go to Edit, Duplicate it and i will highlight this bottom i will rename it bg or background and disable the visibility of this bg i will highlight the reflection and go to effects and preset go to stylize cc glass open the surface change the bump up to bevel profile softness zero height 100 I want to change the value of the displacement to 275 and open the shading change the ambient value to 100 the diffuse is 0 regular is 0 roughness is 0 and the metal is 0 I want to add some more branch on it so I will go back to my project panel. I will choose this image grunge, drag it down to my timeline, right away pre-compose it. I will name it grunge. All the attributes and click OK. I will drag it down at the bottom and disable the visibility. Highlight the reflection again. Go to effects and preset. Blur and sharpen. Compound blur. Change the blur layer to the grunge. Make the maximum blur 40 and I will check the invert blur. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize CC glass. Open the surface. Make the bump up to bevel profile and change the softness to 0. Height is 100. And the displacement 0. Open the light and change the effect light to EE lights. 
open also the shading and change the diffuse amount to 66 and the specular 77 go to effects and preset channel set mat change the mat layer from reflection to the placeholder go to effects and preset find color correction curves change the rgb to red change the red to green Then the last one, which is the RGB, just drag it down. Go to layer, create a light, new light. First, I'm going to use ambient light, 50% intensity. And I'm going to click OK. Go back again to layer, create a new light. Create point light. 250 intensity and I will click OK I will just move this light here on the side I guess and I will duplicate this light Again, I will put it on the other side right here. And I will duplicate this light again. Go to edit, and duplicate it. And I will just drag it down to here, I guess. Change the intensity here. Go to light settings and change it to 50. Second light here, change the light setting to 200. I will highlight all the point lights. Press P on my keyboard for the position. And one by one, I will adjust it further from the camera. Should be good enough. First, I'm gonna go to my project panel and change this folder name. I will name it East One. And then go to my composition, create a new composition. I will name it Scene One. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p. 30 frames per second and 15 seconds duration. I will click OK and open the S1 folder, find the main one composition and drag it down to my timeline. I will move my player to about 9 seconds and move this composition to 10 seconds duration. I will go to my project panel and open the assets folder, go to footage and drag this particle trail down to my timeline. I will also open the image folder. I will choose this light spot, drag it down to my timeline. Right away, I will change it to a screen. Move this up here, I think. 
and then press T on my keyboard for the opacity make this 50% I'll go to my project panel again and drop these dust particles I will right click my mouse go to transform and Vitacomp I will change the blending mode to add and press T on my keyboard for the opacity also change this to 50% I will put this sour beam down to my line and change the blending mode to add and then duplicate this layer and move my blade at the end of my saddle beam layer and press open bracket key. I will also highlight these two shock waves and drop it down to my timeline. Move my playhead to about 7 seconds and I will change the blending mode to add and press open bracket key also the foot create dusty here I will drop it down to my timeline and also open bracket key change the blending mode to add I will probably just move a bit forward and then press P on my keyboard for the position just drag it down a bit I will move my playhead forward to about 7 seconds and 15 frames drop down this optical flare and also the shockwave surface highlight these both press open bracket key and change the blending mode to add highlight the optical flare press S and shift P for the position then I will go back to the image and drop down the Victoria Cross and move this layer to about here I think this is good enough I will press S and shift P on my keyboard and change the scale here to about 50% and I will change also the position bring it up a bit change the position to the optical flare drag it up and make it at the center of your Victoria Cross change the scale make it larger a bit so I think this is good enough I will also highlight this shockwave press P for the position on my keyboard and I will probably just drop it down a bit there you go I will change the resolution here to about a third and move my playhead at the beginning let's render it Wow. So guys, we're done with our tutorial for today and I hope you guys will learn and enjoy watching our tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like and even comment if you have comments most of all press the notification bell so that every time when i upload a video tutorial you will be notified okay so my thoughts for today guys is that when you commit mistakes be sure to amend it by not committing the same mistakes again okay so thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video god bless